This is one of the newest patients at Avian and Exotic. This is our young beaver kit, or baby beaver. Oh my goodness! He was found in Wake County alongside his mom, who had been shot, unfortunately. And this little guy has a gunshot wound just above his tail as well. And this is, um, unfortunately, his bullet wound. We're just putting honey on here because honey is actually um, naturally antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory. Now he doesn't seem to mind it too much. He's got his little <laughs> eyes closed. Yeah, and it should be very soothing too. So. <laughs> uh, he did come in with a sibling that has unfortunately since passed. Um, this little guy is hanging out with us because the Good Samaritan that found him and was taking care of him, we believe had been bottle feeding him past the normal weaning age for beavers. And when that happens, and any baby animal really is fed milk beyond when their gut can kind of adapt to that, uh, their gut microflora, the little bacteria and protozoa and things like that that live in their gut can get all out of whack. Um, and so we're switching this guy to a more normal growing up beaver diet. Uh, a lot of people think that beavers in the wild feed on aquatic fish and aquatic organisms, um, but they actually are vegetarians. And so they'll eat deciduous bark and aquatic plants. So we're trying to get him on a more vegetarian diet. <laughs> uh, he's eating things like hay and critical care, which our rabbit and guinea pig owners are gonna be very familiar with. Uh, he's slowly making the transition, but we're happy to see that his diarrhea has improved with a diet change as well as some uh, holistic and regular antibiotic medications. Hi! <laughs> he's starting to act a little more like a beaver, <laughs> not quite as lethargic and quiet, and he's going to swimming school over in our treatment table and doing well with that. Uh, we're optimistic that once he starts to feel a little bit better, he's going to go to a licensed rehabber to live out the rest of his days. Um, the sad part of this story is that Beavers and kits especially live with their families for one and a half to two years after they're born. They rely pretty heavily on their families to teach them how to be a beaver. Uh, and so this guy doesn't have any family left. So he's going to go to a good rehabber to have a good life, uh, be taken well care of, <laughs> take lots of naps, I'm sure. <laughs> This is my second day. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been fantastic though. It, I've been shadowing here for so long it feels so good to finally be a part of the team officially and uh, it feels like I was always supposed to be here. So it feels really good. <laughs> and plus with insanely cute patients like this it can't be too hard. <laughs> oh. There you go. Temper tantrum. Oh my goodness. There. <laughs>